Good evening, Second Creek families. It's Mrs. Cooper. Tonight I'm going to be reading you True Friends by Dubrovka Kalanovic. Fox was raking fallen leaves in his garden when he heard someone crying. Oh dear, whoever can that be? Fox wondered. Fox followed the sobs until, behind a tree, he found a goose in tears. What's the matter, goose? asked Fox. My flock has left me behind, she cried, pointing to the sky. And I don't know where they are going. Fox felt very sorry for the goose. Then he had an idea. Jump into my wheelbarrow. I will help you catch up with your friends, he said. Goose climbed into the wheelbarrow, but no matter how fast Fox ran, he couldn't catch up with the geese. I have a better idea, Fox said. Fox and Goose boarded a train. The train went really fast. Uphill and downhill it sped until Fox and Goose saw the flock above them. They were heading toward a big city. The city was so big and so busy, Goose thought she had lost her flock again. But Fox had another idea. He and Goose climbed a very tall skyscraper. Looking across the city, they were able to spot Goose's flock flying toward the ocean. They raced to the port. Let's rent a boat, said Fox. Goose was glad Fox was with her. He always had such good ideas. The pair watched the geese from their boat. I think they're flying to a warmer place for the winter, said Fox. Clever Fox was right. After several days at sea, the geese flew down to an island. Goose and Fox carefully landed their boat. Goose was excited to be reunited with her flock. Thank goodness, Goose, you made it, they cried. She ran toward them with her wings open wide. Soon it was time for Fox to leave. Goose hugged Fox goodbye and thanked him for all of his help. Fox boarded the boat and got ready to set sail. He felt sad and wondered if he'd ever see his friend again. Suddenly, there came a voice from the island. True friends should stick together. Will you stay with us, Fox? The, the geese were very grateful to Fox and wanted him to stay. He was a true friend because he had been there for Goose when she needed him most. Fox was so pleased. He stayed on the island with Goose and her flock all winter, playing games and telling stories. Uphill and down, over the city and across the sea, Fox and Goose were true friends, now and always. That's the end of the story. I hope you enjoyed it, and I hope that you have a true friend in your life who would do all these special things for you, too. Good night.